What's good? Guys, today is my least favorite day in the gym. My least favorite, it's a rest day. And I need it. This week has actually kicked my butt. Um, it was solid cardio. The high intense cardio is definitely something I'm not used to that core day. <laughs> oh, it hurts to laugh. It really legit hurts to laugh. So today is actually <clears throat> mobility screening day. My mobility is bad. It's poor, it's not good. It's below average, subpar, whatever you want to call it. My mobility has to improve because what, what is, what's going on is it's, it's affecting me. It's affecting you know my lower back, my hips, which is affecting my knee, which is affecting my workouts, which is affecting my life, which is affecting my relationships with other people, which is affecting my relationships with you. So I just pretty much went Old Spice commercial on you guys right there. So what I need to do is I need to really spend time on mobility. Luckily for me, my business partner, gym partner, strongest natural guy I've ever met, Jacob Hutton, is mobility whiz. The guy can actually do the splits. Can we insert in Jake doing the splits right here? I don't know if we can or not. I don't know if we have that footage. But we have actually, um, we have a mobility screening um, on our app. So what we've done on the app, working with Coach Alan Bishop at the University of Houston, he's one of the coaches in our app. The guy is an absolute stud. So we have a mobility screening. It's a pass-fail. You go through a bunch of different mobility assessments to assess how mobile you are. That's what a mobility assessment is. Things like hamstrings, hips, and then if you fail, there's ways to get better at that. So I'm about ready to get an F on this. I know I'm not gonna do well, but I'm gonna go through it, and then I'm gonna work on this. This, in here, what I'm doing right now, mobility stuff, well, actually, I'm just sitting on a foam roller right now. This is gonna be the most important thing I can do in 2018, because if I do this, then I'm gonna get stronger, bigger, I'm gonna eat right because I'm healthy and I'm able to train, and then my relationship with everyone, including you, gets better. All right, this first assessment is the dowel hamstring assessment. So what you wanna do is get something like a PVC pipe or a broomstick or a dowel like this, put it at the head of your femur, and then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be assessing how tight our hamstrings are. So what we're gonna to wanna to do, once that is at the right spot, all the way up, and see if you can get your heel past the, the dowel when it's straight up. I cannot. Also, if I do this and this other leg comes up, that's also a fail. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna mark fail on this. I'm gonna have a lot of these fails. So I just come down here, fail. Next one is a hip flexor quad assessment. And two is the heel under the knee. You're gonna generally see two things on this for a fail. This is gonna be a pass, but the quad is gonna be the heel out in front of the knee. Okay, this next assessment is going to be assessing ankle mobility. This is a wall ankle lunge. What we're going to do is have the subject start with both toes against the wall. From there, the ankle that's being tested is going to step back to split the difference of the forward foot with the heel in contact without a forward or an inward deviation. And that would be a pass. A couple things you're going to want to look for on this is when you come back, the back of his hand is in contact with the floor. That's a pass. <laughs> Pretty much like I thought, my mobility is SHI, you can finish the rest. I got a lot of work to do. The only ones I passed was the wrist mobility, and then I also passed, oh, my ankle mobility. So my wrists and ankles, <laughs> that is not good. My chest, my shoulders, my glutes, my hips, my quads, everything else, I pretty much failed in. So you know what that means? It means more mobility, more yoga stuff. So I have now the very first mobility. So what that does is based on how many you pass and fail, you then get pretty much a custom mobility thing for you based on your needs. Right, so stack. I have a, Pull your now I have a 13 minute, a 13 minute video yoga instructional video to follow. You won't see me, if you guys get the app, you won't see me in any of these. Why? Because I'm not flexible. I need this bad. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of yoga today. So I have a hard time doing yoga. Last thing I wanna do right now is do yoga in the gym. I 
think we need to go outside and do yoga outside. Let's do yoga outside. Much better. I'm so much happier being out here in the sun and being cooped up into the gym. That workout routine, nothing nothing crazy. The nice thing is, is we have different, if you're a beginner, um, we have the use of like foam rollers or bands that you can use. 12 minutes is all that was, 12 to 14 minutes typically is what those programs are. Um, and we also have obviously mobility just during the day, like during your workout. This one is if you want to go that extra credit. If you want to be extra, that something something, you come out here and get this done. But I can't tell you guys, just being outside for 20 minutes a day with the sunlight, it's going to do amazing things for you. Here on my channel and my brand, we love having muscles, we love looking good, but we also love feeling good and performing well. And if you're gonna do these things, if you wanna look good, if you wanna perform well, if you want to feel good, you need to take care of your body. Mentally, physically, it's all kind of one thing. So when I first started out in the fitness industry in YouTube, um, my my kind of the three pillars were physical, mental, and spiritual. Those are kind of the three pillars for fitness. And I still kind of, I still stand by those things. Our motto of fitness culture is look, feel, and perform better. So you're definitely gonna be doing this, taking advantage of this. Couple things, if you're gonna do yoga, I recommend if you don't have nice feet, keeping socks on. I was like going to be all earthy and like, oh, I'm going to be one with the earth and wear no socks. Yo, I got the nastiest toenails ever and all I could concentrate on was my fetching toenails. Ew. It was bad news, man. I got I to gotta do something about those. What do you guys help me out in the comments below? Like playing football, nas nasty toes, like athlete's foot I've had before, so my toes are just nasty. I feel like they need to just yank off all my toenails and I need to start over. But anyhow, what I need to do actually right now, up here flying around in this perfect drone setting, I need to learn how to fly my drone a little bit. I've, I've done it like kind of once, I need to get better at it. So when we go places and I need to fly it, I'm not super scared of it. So we're gonna do that right now. Hopefully I don't crash. David Laid, I'm coming at you right now in this drone footage. Look out, ready? All right, so the first thing first thing you're going to want to do to turn this on is you go to the remote here. So you're going to hold the whole thing from the remote. <laughs> I'm holding it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, then this, this That's just your display. Your, yeah, there you go. Dude, you're, like that. does that mean I have to get an iP a mini iPad, though? No, you can do it with your phone. All right. All right, so you're going to double on. tap. Double tap. Yeah, tap once and hold. We got 100% battery. Here, tap once and hold. Oh, you gotta wait for it to beep. Okay. That's the beep. Then you come down to the drone, and the same thing, tap once and hold. Tell the propellers twinkle. Oh, oh, there's a little twitch in there. I like it. All right, then this is gonna come to life here on the screen. You don't have like your controllers. In. Dude, your monitor is dope. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go get me a mini iPad. Okay. Okay, so it's waiting for the, all right, see how it's ready to go? Yeah, ready to go GPS. Okay, now to, to start the propellers up, you pull both thumbs back in opposite directions. So this one will go there, and that one will go there. Wait, back this way or one up, one down? Opposite directions okay. towards your palms. Whoa. There you go. All right, so there hold you go. It down? No, yeah. leave it, leave it. Okay, so now it's, oh, shoot. so that's how it starts, and that's how you kill it as well. Oh, okay. So we're all set up here. We're going. So, so yeah, let off now. All right, it's idling. Okay. Okay, and then up on this joystick is gonna raise it up. Okay. And this forward. is gonna raise it, yeah, forward, back, side, side. This and is up and down. Yeah, so so this is up and down in elevation. Yeah, so you fire that up. Look at me, <laughs> look at me. Oh, and so how often do you look at the screen and how often do you look at the? 
I stare at the screen the entire time. Do you really? Yeah, because that's how you see where you're going. Okay, I'm going up. And then yeah. how do you change where you're looking at? Just there? Yep. That's gnarly. All right. Bear with me on this drone footage, guys. That is a gorgeous view of Pine Mountain. That mountain right there is like 10,000 feet in elevation. So I'm going up here. How high can I go? You can go to 400 feet. Above where we're at? Yeah, that's just the lot in the United States. I'm going to get a flyby right now. All right, just don't cut our heads off. I'm going to get a flyby. How high am I? I'm like a straight fighter pilot in this. Oh, they're not happy with us. Oh, he's looking at us. <laughs> do I catch it or do you just land it? You can land it. And you just, to land it, you just hold down the, that same trigger and you just hold it all the way down. Yo! Success! Success! Great success! I like! Freaking drone pilot! Call me Maverick from now on. Like as in Top Gun, not in Logan Paul. Cause I definitely don't want to be like Logan Paul on YouTube. 15 million followers do anything? Not me, Logan. I don't want to dent the world. I want to I want to do the opposite of denting. I want to bulge the world. I want to make it better rather than dent it. I want like here's a dent, here's what I want to do. I want to make the world more round. What? Yeah, Logan, I said it. That was an absolute blast. I freaking love the fact that we can be at the gym and this is 10 minutes away. Like that's, I know I've said it before, but that's part of the, the joy about where I live. The other joy is that it's five o'clock and I gotta go pick up my little puppy dog from my sister's house. If this was LA, I'd be sitting in 30 to 45 and even an hour in traffic because I have to go like three miles. No traffic, let's go pick her up. I can't wait to little see her little face. I have heard though she's being naughty. Let's go get her. All right, you see this fence? This is to keep the turtles out or in, whatever you want to call it, because that's a turtle reserve. No joke, real story. You see one, don't touch it. Utah Radio, we really appreciate everybody being with us. Sorry, not sorry. Pardon this army. Young C's, the new Marcus Garvey. Uh, blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Uh. Hello? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> How are you guys? Good. Hey, were you naughty today? Were you naughty? Yes, yeah, she peed on my beanbag. Well, she peed on you? She peed on her bean bag? She what is going it, on, Poppy? And sat on top of it and <laughs> what is going on? Oh. She just ran right past you. Come here. Guess what? I heard you're very territorial. Hi, Calvin. You want to say hi to people? Calvin and Poppy here. Oh, no, I'm not picking you up. Me and you got a bone to pick. <laughs> so I feel like a parent whose child has a bad grade in school and the teacher <laughs> called me today. My sister called me with video proving, Hi. proving that Poppy is very territorial when she chews on this bone. Also, Did she try to bite you when you took it away? No, oh. but she peed out my bean bag. <laughs> <laughs> and I sat on the bean bag and I didn't know she peed out and I got pee on my pants and some <laughs> on my underwear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a talk to that Probably. little one. She pees the size of like a nickel, so it's okay. My daughter. We're gonna, so what we're, what she's doing right now, she's chewing over oh. on this, on this bone thing. Oh, nothing? Give it to me. Hey, you drop. Drop it. Drop that. Stay out, stay out of it. She didn't even growl at you. Oh my. She didn't, give it back to her and then I'll, I'll try again. Okay. She didn't even growl at you. She, she didn't make noise. She did not growl at that, but she did growl at you. You try. She's been twice on this finger. She has? Yes. Um, no? <laughs> You're not gonna grab that? I think she saw me. Yeah, she looked at you. Studies actually show, I actually saw this two days ago. <laughs> Studies show that this one activity, if you do this hard for 10 minutes, is actually better than 30 minutes of jogging. 
check, fact yeah. check me on that. All right, ready? Wait, hold on, watch my aerial. Oh, nice. 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 Only problem is, I think I'm too big to jump on this tramp. I think I'm gonna break it. I think I need to do a backflip. Yeah, I'll hold it for you. All right. No! Uh-uh! You don't do that! I don't strike a child, but I do yell and get in her face when she's bad. And you when know you've bad. been bad. Your ears are back. You do not bite at people when they take things from you. <laughs> Unless it's your food at lunch, and that's what I do. But you can't do that. You're a puppy. It's for pop poppies. Poppies. Hey. We're gonna go do some doggy training. <laughs> that was a dang good day, wasn't it? Oh, except for you being an ornery. You can't be ornery, okay? Time for, for me and mom to start doing some puppy training classes. Court, Court's out of town right now. So we're gonna have to start doing some serious work with this one or else she's gonna be a little B-R-A-T. I don't wanna say it in front of her. One thing I regret not doing that I should have done in all of my years of training is actually doing stretching. I didn't, I thought that, yo, everyone, I'm fine. I'm not gonna stretch. I'm not gonna work on mobility. And my body is feeling it now. And again, it just, you don't realize when one side's off and you lift every day, every day, every day, year upon year upon year, and one side's off, all of a sudden you have things like this meniscus, lower back issues, and it all stems from not being mobile in the hips and the, and you know the psoas just tight muscles so definitely stretched i'm loving this mobility in the program because i don't even have to worry about searching online to find it um but yeah it's definitely good to get outside of the gym to get out in some into the sunlight i definitely definitely can appreciate that now i'm gonna turn on godfather the godfather part two i watched part one yesterday i'd never seen the godfather hey poppy no more biting, huh? Okay? I'm gonna make her an offer she can't refuse. What do you say? Buonasera. That's my best Italian. <laughs> All right, guys. I am gonna go watch the movie and hang out with the popster. Hope you guys have a good night, and thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Later. <laughs>